Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I'm Spencer. I'm just going to greet you from Life Church today. Uh, we had an amazing uh, Pentecost Sunday. Just want to encourage you. Whatever you are going through, you'll just hold on, and, and, and you just keep doing. You know, just keep doing good. Uh, the Bible says, "I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth." Just like Mary, the mother of Jesus, if you just hold on. Whatever you lost, God will give it back to you. We love you, and uh, God bless you. Subscribe you. to uh, my man Ethan. He has two awesome channels, Ethanio Play and Simple and Ethanio Plus. Uh, so uh, uh, go like and subscribe. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you, bro. Thank you. Hey, guys. Um, Spencer, uh, that message was from the Lord. I And it... It nailed me. I mean, like, the same thing that I'm going through right now. I mean, we're all going through it. Um, so the message was titled, The Hidden Cost of Being Favored. Of being highly favored. Being highly favored by the Lord. Now, I talked about, and I'm looking for trouble. Can God trust us with trouble? Because as soon as we accept Jesus trouble comes, like rejection, disappointment, and you wonder if if God is so good and if I'm doing such a great job, why am I going through hell? You, you know, you think, hey, you think that, you know, for accepting God as your savior, your savior you'd get a lot of good out of it. Well, Guys, uh, I've said before that that God can trust us with trouble, and He sends trouble our way to mature us, and He's He's trying to turn us into a better person than we are. And, but sometimes it's hard to continue our journey with God. Sometimes we all feel like throwing in the towel and giving up. I've I've been there. I've been lied to constantly. The enemy has been throwing every kind of lie in my head, trying to distract me from what's important, and that is sharing God's good news. That's exactly why I'm here at this church today. I could have been anywhere else. We all could have been anywhere else. We could have been at the uh, AMC over in Leesburg, but we're here at the house of the Lord, and um, on, a, on a Pentecost Sunday, no less. By the way, um, he um, he talked about how you know all of a sudden we can speak in tongues. It just comes on you, but it's an amazing gift. We we don't do that ourselves. God God supernaturally grants us the gift to that, just like He granted the the gift to have access to His kingdom when He tore the veil. I mean, that's amazing, guys. You know, um, we there's always a cost, a hidden cost, to being highly favored. Because that means going through some crap. And it's all a test, guys, to see if we'll go on. Okay, that came out wrong. What I mean is, God wants us to trust Him no matter what. It may look bad, and there will be crying, and there will be pain. And trust me, I, I have cried, and I have felt pain in, on this journey. But ever since then, my life has gotten better. You know, you may have lost something. The enemy may have taken your dignity and your... Um, your mojo but you'll get all that back you'll get twice as much at the end of this journey the journey that will take you to his kingdom to your victory it's right around the corner you just got to hang on a little longer guys don't let the enemy throw you off the rail you got to keep riding no matter what no matter how bad it may seem no matter uh, how bleak it looks like you'll never get to your destination like your train has been derailed, you will reach that station eventually. 
you will reach the finish line of your race. Trust me, guys. Sorry that the picture got a little dark. Okay. What I'm saying, I mean, I, I felt this in my spirit. This, because um, Hope in the Rope, that, that inspired me as well. I mean, if they can, I mean, there's no doubt about it. God is in the house. And he's telling us these things because he's revealing stuff we've never even known. You'll, you'll gain twice as much if you'll just hang on. He's looking for a strong spirit. Just say, Satan, if you're looking for a weak spirit, a weak man, and look somewhere else because I'm going through. I'm not going over. I'm not going under. I'm not going around. I'm going through the trouble and the despair and the pain. God, I trust you. Guide me through here. That's what you need to say. So guys, are you going to trust God even through all the misery and the pain? So I, I, I want you to think about this. Let me know down in the comments. I'm not a quitter and I'm inspiring you to still be an overcomer and a finisher. Because God, God is under, is in control. He has got everything planned out. You just need to trust Him until you, and, and trust that He will guide you to the finish line of your journey. So guys, uh, this is a, this is a great message and God is amazing, don't you think? I mean, he's still helping us out. He's, even though we don't deserve it, we have a God like Jesus. And Mary herself, she, God may interrupt with our life, but only for the better. He may, if we're, if we're um, planning to go see something, we may not go see it because God has got something better planned. We, need, we may be not invited to the party. We may be rejected and lonely. That's because God trusts you with trouble. He trusts you um, with the misery and the pain. He trusts you with the misery. Ask yourself that. Can God trust me with trouble? God is trusting me with trouble. And you know what? I'm not going to let the enemy push me around. I'm going to say, God, I trust you. And I inspire, I inspire you to do the same. I mean, I, I sure, that's, you know what I'm saying. I, um, I assure you, if God will take you to the finish line. So guys, um, I'll see you next time. So uh, I need to ask for prayer. Uh, if you have any prayer, by the way, leave, let me know. Uh, Pastor is in uh, Western Canada. He's going to be returning um, next Sunday. So um, please pray that he comes home safely. And uh, remember, subscribe. Please subscribe uh, to Ethanio's Plain Simple and Ethanio Plus. You guys are amazing. Love you. And if you want to find Life Church, it's IamLifeChurch.com. We're in uh, the middle of Eustis. I would show you, but um, don't have a, don't have a lot of battery left. So uh, just trust me. It's in uh, it's in Eustis, three five one Plaza Drive. See you next time. So remember, guys, I'm just playing simple. All this talk, everything that I've said so far, not for me, from God. He is beautiful and he's lovely and he's glorious. I'm just playing simple. Not supernatural, not an angel sent from heaven, nothing like him. And when times get tough, praise God in the storm. See you guys.